Now you know you want to open the hips in the downswing, but what I find and what we both find a lot of times is that as soon as you start that downswing, you get that stretch between the hips and the shoulders. I feel really tight in my midsection here. I'm as stretched out as I can. That's the feeling that a lot of people have when they start that downswing. But what happens is when you get that full stretch as you start the downswing, a lot of times the hips will shut off. They won't turn anymore from here. They'll go toward the ball a little bit and then the arms will catch up. So basically the, the entire downswing is all arms. The hips aren't involved there. And when you get to the bottom of the swing, you can see the hips are square. Obviously not what you wanna be doing. The real key here is to keep the entire body opening as you're starting the downswing. Let me go ahead, I'll hit a couple cue. Let me do one the wrong way, and then I'm gonna do one the right way, and let's take a look at the numbers on flight scope. So this first one here, the sensation that I see a lot of players having, they go to the top of the swing and say, okay, I have to open my hips, and the first move down is trying to get these going as quick and as hard as possible. So really feeling a lot of stretch early in that downswing, big time separation, and what happens with your body, anytime you stretch a muscle fully, it immediately wants to fire. So this separation you're feeling, this big time stretch you're feeling with your hips here, your shoulders immediately want to fire to catch up to the hips. The hips don't rotate anymore and they kind of stall out. Let me show you what that would look like on this swing. So I'm gonna feel like I really fire them hard from the top. Let's try it out here. So there, missed it a little bit left. Wasn't the worst shot in the world, didn't top it or hit a huge slice or something like that. But I really felt like I used a lot of my arms my hips got started early and then my arms just catched up the entire downswing. So what were some of the numbers there on the flight scope? So club head speed, we got up to 108.4, definitely a lot lower than your, your normal club head speed. Then carry distance was only uh, less than 250. Okay, so in the 240s, carry distance 104 swing speed. Now for you, if you're swinging 90 miles an hour, the same principle applies. Maybe you'll go from 90 to 100, from 100 to 110. It's the, the equivalent there of what's happening. So let me do it the right way and we're gonna see the speed bump up. Now the key here is when I start my downswing, I don't just wanna stretch the lower body and do nothing with upper body. I wanna feel like my upper body is going opening as I start the downswing too. In fact, when you look at PJ Tour players, when they get to impact, their shoulders or their rib cage is actually open about 20 degrees on average. This is a, a compilation of all PJ Tour players or a lot of PJ Tour players. Their shoulders are open about 20 degrees. So if you imagine where is my rib cage pointed, 20 degrees open in front of this golf ball, winner at impact for the best players in the world. Now their shoulders look a little bit more square because as that left shoulder protracts or, or kind of cinches in against the, the left pec, that looks like my shoulders are much more square than they really are my rib cage is open, this shoulder makes it look a lot more square. So the key there is, and what you don't want to do, is you don't want to feel like if you're not opening those hips enough, you don't want to feel like you just race open with the hips and leave everything back here. Because what's going to happen next, these turn off, all arms in the downswing. I want to feel like, if you want to get more open with the hips, that as I start to downswing, your hips and your shoulders, everything, your entire body starts to open up more toward the target. You'll notice in this swing, my hips are definitely gonna get more open and I'll probably get quite a bit more club head speed while I'm at it. There you go, much better on that one. A nice little fade down the right center of the fairway. And we can see there, probably a lot more swing speed. So what do we have there, Q? We're at 118.6 club head speed. 10 miles an hour, or carry. 14 more miles an hour oh, yeah. of, of swing speed. And then how many more distance, how much more yards? 290 carry, but total was 319. 319 total. So big distance difference, big swing speed difference. But there is one thing, there's a problem with this. And I bet you can relate with this. If you're having a tough time opening those hips and the shoulders are catching up, when you start to open everything more, all of a sudden that club starts to get too far out in front of you. Maybe you get a little bit steep. Maybe you come over the top. That's kind of the missing link there. I know that's something you see all the time. What do you, what's your number one thing for people that come over the top when they start to open their body? So what we really need to get doing is we need to shallow out the club. Cause when we get the body to really open up, a lot of times what happens is our whole body opens up 
and the hands come out here and the club comes out here and we're swinging way over the top. We're not gonna hit very good golf shots if we're swinging way over the top. So what we need to do is we need to get this club shallowed out so that we can swing from the inside, keep it on plane, and hit nice straight and long drives. I can open as much as I want to there. Now I'm coming from the inside. Everything's gonna be straight down the fairway. Right, so I'm gonna go over a bunch of feelings here that hopefully get you to be in the right position here. And what I want you to do is I just want you to go through these feelings and find the one that works the best for, for you. You know, sometimes one feeling works great for somebody and doesn't work for somebody else. So one feeling I like to think of is your lead elbow. Try to feel like that lead elbow is kind of pointing out toward the golf ball. See how his, if you're as a laser coming out of his elbow here, it'd be shooting way out here. So a lot of times when we're coming over the top, that elbow is pointed down. So yeah, see if it's pointing straight down to the ground. So getting that feeling of that elbow kind of going out toward the golf ball or outside of the golf ball, that's gonna help you to really shallow out the club. So you can see in this position here, it's super shallow. Now another great feeling is the other elbow. So our trail elbow, we wanna feel like that's coming into our body. And you can see here, if you keep it outside the body, if you keep it out away from your body, we're coming way over the top. So if we get that into the body a little bit, that's gonna help you to get that club nice and shallowed out. Now, one that I really like, and I think works really well for me and works well for a lot of players, is to have the feeling that you're turning a doorknob with both of your hands. So for a right-handed golfer, you'd be feeling like you're turning the doorknob to the right with both the hands. So your wrists are really rotating your forearms. Yeah, so that's a really, really good feeling. And that's gonna get this butt into the club to be pointing outside of the golf ball here. Yeah, nice thing with that too is, as I'm turning that doorknob to shallow this club out, my elbow is naturally gonna to wanna to come out. My right elbow is gonna naturally wanna stay in. So it really gets you in a good position. So the overall thing here is, yes, we all wanna open up. We see every single tour player is coming into impact. They're clearing their hips out of the way. They're opening up and they're hitting it like a laser down the middle of the fairway. But you have to be from the inside. You have to be shallow to make that happen. If you don't shallow this club out, you're gonna be steep and over the top. And as soon as you open up, it's turning into big banana slices. So let me go ahead and hit one more here. I wanna recap on some of those things that we went over. And like Quentin said, you wanna try each of these. You can just do them right from your living room. Try each of these fillings. Find the one that really sticks out to you where you say, oh man, this feels good. I like the way this feels. And that's the swing key that you're gonna have. I may have four or five different players they each may have a different swing key to accomplish exactly the same thing. So don't be afraid to try out these different things. So number one, as I make this swing, I want my entire body to be opening up. I don't wanna just throw the hips open and then what happens is they lock off and I'm all hands and arms, I'm gonna lose tons of speed. So that's the first thing. Make some swings letting your entire body open to start the downswing. Number two, when you're shallowing out, that club has to get from the inside, so when I open up, it's still coming square through the golf ball. Try your left elbow flattening. Try your right elbow tucking in, and this is all as you start the downswing. And then try turning that doorknob to the right as you start the downswing. That gets it in the slot, gets you coming from the inside. That way you can hit it nice and straight. 